In this video I want to talk about the washing machine card I am using. This is actually not a card that I worked on, but a card that was shared on the Home Assistant community forum. You can find a link to it in the description. Here you can see the card in action on my dashboard. You can see it features a status bar that shows the progress, an estimated time left and an animation. In this video I will go over everything you need to set it up and show how I use a smart plug to make my dumb washing machine smart. Before we start, if you want to use this card, make sure you have button car installed. So let's start with the configuration. To make my dumb washing machine smart, I'm using a smart plug and an input select. It's called washing machine status and it features four options. Idle, running, clean and off. I will use the smart plug in an automation to set these states. When the washing machine has run, I also use an input boolean that integrates with my chores setup to let me know if I have to take out the laundry. This is what I'm saving here. Let's continue with the custom sensors. I have one sensor that just saves the state of the input select, so nobody can interact with it on accident. However, for the custom washing machine card to work, you need a custom sensor. I will explain how it works. The sensor is called washing machine timer and the state of it is only on when the washing machine is running. In any other case, it's off. The sensor has multiple attributes. The first one is called triggered. In this attribute, we save the last change state of the washing machine status sensor in a custom timestamp. We will use this attribute later on. The next attribute is the remaining attribute. If the sensor itself is off, we just set it to zero, as the machine is not running. However, if it's running, we have to calculate the remaining time. First, we set the total remaining time. As my washing machine is dumb, I just set an estimated time here. My washing machine roughly takes 3.5 hours, so I multiply 210 by 60 to get the time in seconds. Now we have to calculate the time passed. We take the time now and subtract the triggered attribute. To calculate the remaining seconds, we just subtract the time passed from the remaining time. Lastly, we format the remaining seconds into a readable timestamp. For the remaining percent, we basically do the same thing. But when we calculate the remaining percentage, we divide the remaining second by the total time and multiply it with 100. Lastly, we save the end time, which is just the triggered attribute plus the remaining time. The custom card needs all these attributes to display correctly. I also adapted the custom card to work with my Prusa Mini as a 3D printer. It basically works the same way, but instead of setting an estimated total time, we just take one of the Prusa Mini sensors. This way you can also adapt this card if you're using it with a smart washing machine. The basic configuration is done, but we need a few automations to make everything work. As I said before, we are using a smart plug in this automation to dynamically set the state of the washing machine. Depending on how much the smart plug reports, we either set the state to idle or to running. Once the washing machine is done, we set the state to clean and turn on the input boolean. When I take out the laundry and turn off the input boolean, the washing machine is set back to off. To make the cut display correctly on the dashboard, we have to update the sensor tentity every second. This is what this automation does. As you can see, it constantly triggers. Because I only need this when the washing machine is running, I have another automation that dynamically turns this automation on and off. And that's how I made my dumb washing machine smart. I hope you enjoyed the video and got some inspiration for your own dashboard. If you are interested in the code for everything we talked about in this video, there is a link to my Gumroad that includes the 3D printer card as well. If you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed to my channel. Check out my other videos in which I create more custom cards, show off cool Hux cards and a tour of my personal dashboard. Thanks for watching!